Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D. Bakuji on Thursday evening, about 7 o'clock, a bit later than I expected. Um, I got delayed. My front door won't open. You can lock it and unlock it, but the handle is locked in a locked position. So I was trying to figure out, I went in and out the back door all day today. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Probably one of the five point um, sections in it is jammed or something, anyway. So, um, because I, I had planned to do that and I hadn't watched any of the races earlier. Um, I haven't my routine right yet that I can uh, watch the races. I have no escort, you see, to put the phone, I put the race on the phone when I'm driving. So that, that's gone. Like I was able to do that last year, but I might be able to work it again. Um, and I was chatting uh, a friend in Kerry and I told him, I put him on mute for fear he'd give me the results for a couple of races there. Um, and then I decided I'd wait for, uh, that's that's just dandy, uh, when it was gone so late. So in the meantime, I just watched a couple of the videos of uh, the other runs we had today. So uh, we had three out of five, not a bad day at all. But the one that let that slip was um, Varian's, Roger Varian's. Sean Westlake had it uh, tipped up yesterday. And I looked at the videos twice or three times last night and I just thought, yeah, it's it's between the two of them. And I went for the wrong one because it, it, I'd done cross trebles and I had three out of four. It wouldn't have been a right payday. I'd have wanted a, an extension on the barrow. But um, not a bad day at all. Um, Roman Bull, uh, as I expected, have too much toe for, uh, what was it, six mile apart. And uh, Cojan as well, just, I was hoping, yeah, mile four backwards uh, in trip, um, but he just got away with it, and uh, that's just dandy. The other one I just watched it quickly. I'll have to relook at it again. The Bayou Bell, it, it had a bit of a tardy start, and uh, um, it seemed to get blocked or something in a, in its mid stretch run. So I'll have to see if if that was placed as well. You know, you'd have a royal a royal day, but we're not complaining. We're not doing too bad. Um, On the bus this morning, Adam and Martin in Hamilton, they were over for, uh, from Scotland. They were in a great forum. They had uh, two kilts on them. And uh, they got a few wolf whistles from the ladies as the board has shown a bit of leg. Stephen D from the Marble City in Kilkenny. He was singing a rainy night in Soho. He was telling them that uh, he's a great fan of uh, Shane McGowan and the Pogues. The ATM machine uh, boarded. He was full of cash. I hadn't seen him come up uh, with so much cash in a while. John White is looking forward to Listowel, he was telling everybody. I rang Listowel race course yesterday, inquiring for uh, a couple of complimentary tickets for the races on the Saturday when I intend to be there. And uh, I was very quickly told that it's the wrong year to be asking for things like that. That uh, they're two bad years uh, with COVID and they're out to milk everyone, it seems. So um, I was a bit disappointed, actually. Um, it was... I didn't get much of an earn, not like Tralee, uh, not, I was a bit disappointed now. I'd be a bit reluctant to go on the Friday, I'd be in the stall on the Friday, but I'd be a bit reluctant to go there. They seem to be gone corporate instead of forgetting about the regular punters. Um, belated happy birthday wishes to Rob the Old Man Goose, our chef on the uh, bus. Uh, he looked a little bit um, worse for wear as he uh, boarded. Paula Baldwin and Breedy King were all smiles too as they were sharing uh, tips. And uh, Tango Foxtrot was doing the samba as he boarded. So on to tomorrow. Um, there's a few... Well, there's, there's one loyalty bet and there's a two uh, forgiven bets. Uh, Friday, 6.40 at Down Royal. Um, I'm giving another chance to, to grab on an Eno uh, for Dermot Weld. Um, it's, we chipped it up the last day and uh, the ground went against it, I thought. Uh, when, it was yielding ground. He's better on better ground. I still look at the good run um, over nine furlongs from the second of 22 in the Coral to Danham. And the I thought um, Cojan actually was third in that race. I know that got a form boost since. Um, he ran that race off uh, 63. He was shoved up four pounds. He's a 10 to one shot. 
uh, they're paying um, four places, so a pint each way. Um, I, I like, the, I forgot to say, that's just, just dandy. When I picked out that last week, it was 20 to 1, and, and it was uh, gambled on into 6 to 1. You know, so the ability was there, and the, the, uh, the connections knew that it was well handicapped. So that's why when I looked at the videos last night, and it had one in Dundalk that it'll go on the ground. Um, I shoved it up on the description today. So I did say that. I hope that you checked the description today, people, uh, during the day and got that one. Uh, so I hope you didn't miss out on it. Uh, the 420 in Ascot, I'm in a forgiving mood again for Bob Pedro. A four-year-old uh, David O'Mara is rated, uh, trains it and is rated 100. It was formerly trained by Jessica Harrington and won the Irish Cambridgeshire last year, which was rated 94. It's a 28 to 1 that day. It was good to Ferrum. It went up to 103. It went up nine pounds. It was eighth in the Royal Hunt Cup on his final start for Jessica and his first run for the New Yard. It was fourth to Tempest in the Porsche handicap over course and distance. It was only beaten three lengths. And then the last time it was in the Shergar Cup and Jamie Spencer was on it and the race wasn't one to suit. As you'd expect, that old Shergar Cup is a bit of a disaster at times. It's his third run uh, for the New Yard. Uh, cheek pieces on replacing the visor and uh, when he won the Cambridgeshire last year he was wearing the visor for the first time so maybe this might revitalise him a bit he's a 6-1 to one shot we'll go a pint each way it's the dead 8 in it 2 at Kempton then um, it's a 2 mile race I like the long distance races as you might see that I'm always at the mile 6 or 2 miles but country pile for Bill Muir and uh, the Grassic uh, combo it's a half brother to pile driver, that good group, group one horse. Um, it's a four year old out of new approach. It won a maiden in Goodwood in June, raced to 75. And then she was third and second since in, uh, but they were in class three and class two races. And um, this is a class four. It's a nine to two shot, a pint win. And then in the 8.55, it's a mile four, there's nine declared. On the 8th of August, we were doing a jig when Buckstead Reel won for us. Uh, it was 9 to 2 into 2 to 1 favourite. It beat that Planet agent who, uh, or Planet legend, who ran adequately, you know, last week, went to second to, um, can't remember the name. Uh, but it's up £3 from 68 to 71. Um, and Harry Davis is riding, and he cancels the rise up because he's claiming three. It won nicely, I thought, the last day. Um, Ian Williams, out of its last 42 runners, uh, six winners and 10 places. You know, that's nearly a 15% strike rate. Um, a three-year-old won the race two out of the last three years. And they get an £8 weight for age allowance. So uh, I thought that would have a sort of a chance in that. I visited my uh, godmother last night. Um I didn't know what to expect when I went in. Um, she's frail. Uh, she's home from hospital. Uh, she had a blocked bowel uh, operation on the, the 16th of March. And she had cancer at the time. And the thought was gone. But it has come back and it has spread to her spine and her uterus. And uh, nothing can be done. But she's not aware of what's going on. She said she's, uh, she told me, she said, I'm low on iron. And I get an iron boost on Friday, you know, and I should be all right after. Like, you know, so I think the family have made a decision, you know, to uh, go this route. Um, they probably know that she's a bit of a warrior, possibly, you know, and it'll be, um, it'll be, it's their way of dealing with it. Uh, so, um, uh, the doctors don't know how quick it's going to spread, but, um, she's terminally ill. Um, but she was in good enough spirits. Um, she's in, she's 82, 83 in that region. And, uh, she was, uh, she was sitting on the armchair and she, um, she was going watching the soap, or what do you call it, Fair City at half eight. And she says, will you watch it? I said, no, the only soap I know is what I use in the shower. So I do always try to give her a laugh anyway. So she's good enough spirits, but um, the end is on the way for her, like at some point. But it'll come to us all at some point. So we just have to remain positive. Best of luck tomorrow. Bash the bookies over and out.